Amplify Science, Populations and Resources, Unit Chapter 2, Lesson 2.6, Revisiting Key Concepts. So the thing to remember about this lesson, it is the first lesson after you've taken the critical juncture assessment. So there will be steps in this lesson in which you are grouped into one of three colors. So uh, depending on the group you are in, it will affect what resources you see. But in the beginning, step one, warm up. We're all in the same place. Uh, we're examining the image and the caption and responding to the question. The next step, the teacher introduces the population puzzles uh, activity for you. And this is where uh, your teacher will go into the fact that you are grouped by color, either blue, green, or purple, based on the assessment results, and that you will need to come to the teacher to receive evidence cards at certain steps in uh, the puzzle solving. But the idea is that we want to dig more deeply into the Glacier Sea ecosystem. We're going to look at other populations in that ecosystem and what factors or what things might be affecting uh, them uh, with the idea that we're eventually working our way back to the moon jellies. So we begin step two. Uh, and again, you're going to see on my screen, uh, right now it shows purple, but I could switch to blue or green from here, um, an evidence card. And you begin with the evidence card on your screen, and you're asked some questions about those food webs. And so you respond. And then in the instructions, it will tell you to then go get evidence card A from your teacher and use the information on evidence card A to dig more deeply into the possible solution. And then once you've done that, someone in your group is going to go get evidence card B and take it a step further. Okay. Uh, and then in step three, after you've had a chance to do that, uh, we end up talking to people from different groups. So we bring the color groups back together and uh, people from blue group get a chance to talk about people from with green group and, and purple group uh, about what possible explanations we might have found as a whole class. And that might better explain food webs, energy transfer, and eventually solving this mystery around moon jelly and what's going on in the glacier sea.